The city of Ziugma was founded in the 3rd century BC by Seleucus I, general of Alexander the Great and founder of the Seleucid Empire. But from 163 BC, it changed the hands to the smallest but prosperous Komagene kingdom, most known for the famous landmark of Mount Nemrut. Then, during the Komagene kingdom, Zeugma was ceded to the Roman Empire. It was strategically located by a bridge across the Euphrates River. It became a major city up to 70,000 people and Zeugma residents were no strangers to luxury as their elaborate residences and bathhouses featured some of the most finest mosaics of the world. What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel again. And right now it's a very historic moment in my life because today I'm here at the world's most magnificent mosaic museum. So, so in 2000, uh, in Gaziantep, when there were uh, archeological researchers, they figured out the mosaic uh, flooring and mosaic coverings in Gaziantep region and then they realized the the findings were even more and more deeper and more complex than it was so let me show you one of the findings of it look at this beautiful details and this is exactly the real one so you can see the details of the mosaic it's absolutely stunning so in the Zeugma antique city antique civilization the locals were really into a very lavish lifestyle because in that area where they found these mosaics they found so much so much details on this as of now i'm in front of oceania and the god of uh let me thetis so Okeanos and thetis is right here in front of us pictured as a mosaic approximately 2500 years ago so i'm looking actually 2300 years ago this mosaic was laid on the walls of zeugma city and Okeanos is the god of the oceans and thetis is the god of the fertility and this is the the wall of one of the villas when they built and when you come to this one you see another masterpiece as you see the king uh, is pouring the akratos akratos is uh, pouring a wine to his beloved wife Iprosin. Iprosin. so you can see look at the come look at this this details and here is their name written right next to it and he is pouring wine on on the beautiful clay pot and and when we come towards the center of the museum we can see 
uh, each rooms of the Times houses and look at the the frescoes uh, so these frescoes were with uh, you know they were painted with the basically vegetation paints vegetation colors animal bloods and stuff and as you see it still stays until today with its magnificent beauty isn't it awesome so we are looking at the courtyard of one of the uh, Hellenistic time family basically that's what you see here and, and then right now on the other findings we see another entrance of the villa with this beautiful carpet looking mosaic I mean it really fascinates me and also it asks me makes me ask question of really are we the one who are the most developed and the most uh, I mean the most advanced societies or were they more than us were they more developed and more sophisticated to be honest when I look at these art pieces I really don't see anything special with us because at the time when they built these beautiful mosaics they had little to nothing in technology these were all handmade with the specific details and again Zeugma Museum and Zeugma Civilization is world's largest mosaic antique mosaic museum and you know these were not on these mosaics were basically at front lawn of the people's house on their courtyards look at this look at all these beautiful beautiful mosaics and UNESCO dedicated this place to be this the city of Gaziantep uh, UNESCO's gastro city of the world in 2018 or 19 and also I see there are many tourists from all around the world so let me show you this absolutely most beautiful art piece look at this guys look at the details I mean as a contractor <laughs> I build kitchens and bathrooms and you know when I do those I don't think we can ever ever get any closer with any porcelain or marble tiles and you know despite all this technology they've done this with almost zero technology look at that look this is entirely one piece I can say across this way this is about 30 or 40 feet 40 by 30 feet can you imagine that so like almost 1200 square feet a large piece of single mosaic that represents and explains that time I can't even explain so you know when I was telling you guys that I will be touring Me Mesopotamia I had so many researches to figure out really what is Mesopotamia about I mean Mesopotamia is about the the beginning of humankind literally I mean I don't I don't know about 23 2400 years ago what could lead these people to build these art pieces look at these frescoes look at these travertine columns and another question I have is with what kind of technology they built so let me show you one thing here so right now we are standing in front of the entrance to the 
one of the wealthy uh, one of the wealthy Poseidon villa so so the, the wealthy families had a beautiful courtyard of Poseidon civilizations villas so on this villa you see a little fountain they built probably they were you know there was a running water here and that's the the back side of the the entrance to the villa and right here is exactly covered with another beautiful artwork and right here there's a man and woman standing in the center of it and there are birds of its time i think there is such a beautiful i, I can see stork and i can see pigeon and i guess this civilization was really so much into these type of artworks and right here is the birth of a venus is pictured as you see on one end the so the aphrodite represents the aspect of the love within the natural natural habitat that love does not arise out of nothing but its arrival of heralded abstract entities so desire and dove sparrow and among the flowers rose beautiful goddess right here okay. Okay. So this is another mosaic that represents the 3rd century BC and then there are the god of Eros and Psyche is represented on the on the mosaic. I mean there is basically unlimited mosaics and, and then this is so when I was at the entrance I asked the gentleman they said this is basically 5% of the findings from the archaeological e excavations. So imagine how much more is under the ground right now. So this is another beautiful wall mural, wall mosaic that is representing Meticus and Parthenip. Parthenipo, Parthenope. Uh, guys, I swear the words are not enough to explain how I feel. So, I came across the ocean to visit Zogma Museum because I knew as I said as a designer you know I do I built kitchens and bathrooms and within today's technology we use a lot of tools to create these and nothing close to this nothing you can compare with this and I see this and I'm like you know what definitely technology means nothing and those people were way beyond us o almost I feel like it's almost a magical so if if I didn't see and feel these mosaics I would be like oh these are just uh, just uh, just the stories but again these are the exact pieces that were brought to life all right so here is the mosaic of the seasons you can see the mosaic of the seasons here that is unbelievable right here look at this guys look at the level of details well 
let's see what's upstairs and hopefully oh there are some at the downstairs Oof. look at this there's a, a public toilet right here you see, can you see that so i think the center pond in the middle was like where the water was accumulating so people would grab the water to clean themselves and these seatings are the places where they sat and during the during the romans interestingly i saw in also ephesus when i was traveling last year they really didn't wanted to separate the toilets there wasn't a privacy issue i don't know what was exactly how people thought of that you know using the toilet culture maybe it wasn't really something that to be ashamed of i, I can't really understand uh but i all i can say is they definitely had something out of our world exactly well let's go upstairs and let's see what's going on upstairs we continue our Gaziantep tour breathtaking Gaziantep tour continues with these magnificent views and there are mosaics and mosaics and more mosaics look look at here and I think they were able to only save little pieces guys look at the bird they built this I know I keep saying it but they built this 20 300 years ago and what makes this Zogma Museum the most famous is this particular one this is called Gypsy Girl and Gypsy Girl mosaic is one of the most unique piece because in whatever angle you look to the eyes of the Gypsy Girl it really follows you and again we don't know what was really how did they even know how to characterize that so these are the unknown questions that I ask myself but probably archaeologists know all the answers well guys this is the end of the museum and i really appreciate for you guys watching subscribing liking my videos and this was the first uh first stop of my mesopotamia tour which was gaziantep and now we are done with gaziantep and our next stop will be in the mount of nemrut which is where the gods statues are situated on top of the mountain so hopefully we will cover all that on the next episode so stay tuned and sub subscribe and comment or like my videos because really i would like to show you exactly every single details that i am witnessing with my own eyes thank you guys i'll see you guys later and also i want to point out one thing that i saw at the beginning of the this beautiful museum there's a little boy in a little coffin so i guess back then it represented the the, the you know basically it was like a little baby baby uh, graveyard and on this graveyard i see the baby is holding two things on his left and right hands let me show you as you see a little baby is holding a coffin on one end the 
pistachio. On the other end, pigeon. So pigeon represents the peace. And pistachio is, as you know, is one of the most famous crop of this region. So I think it's easy to say even 2003 or 400 years ago pistachio was still one of the most important commodity in this region so things didn't change much from then to now